Hey, it's Joseph here. I've got this box that I would like to unbox today, so let's go ahead and do that. It doesn't really say what it is, but here it just kind of tells you the logo of the company that makes this box, which is Razer. So they have sent me this specific box or the product inside for me to review, but they are not sponsoring this video in any way. So everything that I'm about to say is based on my observation, experience, and some research. I actually don't exactly know the spec and what is inside of this box. So I guess we're just gonna have to do it. And as far as I understand, this is a review unit, so I'm not expecting this to be in a pristine condition. Actually, there was a little ding on the box too. So here on top, on sort of weird bubble wrap, there is a power cable, US plug, and a charger. And I really like their charger because I believe it is 65 watt charger and USB-C, it's quite tiny, so you can Expect to carry this around at ease. Nothing else. And smaller box inside of a box. So smaller box means small product, right? It opens up quite nicely. Go green with razor. Some marketing words. And then black cloth. And here is the laptop. I wonder how I get it out. And there's no paperwork, but I suppose it's because it's a review unit. So here is the laptop. It's quite reflective, so it is catching all the light, but you can see sort of Razer logo on sort of silvery finish. I really like their grippy rubber on the bottom of the unit so overall it is very small i really like their construction it is solid everything is metal build very rectangular and the body is milled very very well so i have been favoring their design aesthetics so the as far as the naming scheme goes this is razor book 13 so 13 inch model i understand this is a full hd screen unit so you actually have option of choosing uhd the 4k screen but i think on a 13 inch device i think full hd 1080p screens will suffice for most of the purpose and the specific model number for this one is rz09-0357 i suppose we could look that up but I'm gonna have to do some digging in order to find out exact spec of this. But just looking at briefly on one corner, there's a micro SD card reader, full size HDMI. And then there is Thunderbolt 4 port on one corner. And onto the other side, there's another Thunderbolt 4 port here. And then USB type A, I believe that is 3.2 Gen 1. And then combo audio jack. So that is really good to see as a lot of laptops are removing the headphone jack. This specific laptop is meant for professionals who's needing to do their task. And it's a thin, ultra light, ultra portable type of laptop having 11th gen of Intel CPU. Expect great graphic performance as it has XE graphics. I'm gonna have to do some thorough testing to find out whether this device is really good. So the full on review will follow, but I just wanted to kind of get this unboxed and just have a first glance at the machine. So obviously the hinge is working really well there. You can just lift it up and the grippy feet are grabbing onto the desk so it doesn't slide around. I really like that. And inside follows the real solid construction. You can see the grills on the either side of the keyboard a huge trackpad. Let me reduce the exposure. Okay, hopefully you could see a little better. So there is a big size trackpad as well as speaker grill on the either side of the keyboard. 
in a huge screen. And as far as I understand, this is 16 by 10 ratio, therefore it is a bit taller, allowing you more screen real estate in terms of productivity. So it's gonna be the right suit, I would think. And I see four microphones on the top as well as two cameras so one of them is going to be ir camera for windows hello and the regular webcam i understand it's going to be 720p i'm going to have to power it up and then look at the proper specification as well as doing a full review but this is sort of the first glance at the machine i don't know what it is about razor's devices but every time i hold their device everything is so well milled and constructed that it is pleasing to carry around and just hold it on your hands. Perhaps it's not like the thinnest or the lightest, but overall, I really like their construction and the look. Obviously, it's gonna leave some fingerprint on it. So we're gonna see if this one really lives up to the hype of the thin and light, ultra portable, professional purpose laptop. So this video is meant to be a quick glance at this device. If you have specific questions or something that you wanna know about this device, please leave it in a comment so I can include that sort of portion into the full review. And if you have enjoyed this content, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you wanna continue watching these type of videos as well as the full review of this device. And thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you next time. Bye.